Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's expunge mission, which is the sticks, it's on the moon, and it's slightly different from last week's. I'm doing it on the hunter again. Uh, Truth Teller and Royal Entry are the weapons I'm going to be using more often. The most important thing here, I think, is mobility. I'm running with 8 mobility and I'm running with the Stompies. Uh, You're going to need some sort of heavyish weapon to deal with the boss, but getting to the boss in, in the right amount of time is probably the most important thing. So when you load in, you'll see this is the exact same area as we loaded into last time. So that I think the first minute or two is... Exactly the same as it was last week. Uh, if you've upgraded your splicer gauntlet, you can access that little green console we just went past there. But if you haven't, just like me, you can just keep going. It's not a big deal. It just gives you a few more extra platforms to start with. Now, I noticed that the timing in this mission is slightly different from last week's as well. Uh, I couldn't make it through all three of these doors last week, but I managed to do it this week. And when I dropped down and I got to the part with the, the kind of electronic wall, that, that kind of grid wall that you've got to escape. I noticed that this time I loaded, I got to the area just as it was starting to move forward. So I'm now following it. You'll see here that is it moving away. Now there are some, you see right at the start, I just dropped straight down. I took up quite a bit of fall damage. It's fine as long as you land on a, sh a flat surface. You will not die from fall damage if you land on a flat surface. It's a little known fact in Destiny that fall damage occurs when you land on uneven flooring. So, these walls here on the left, they're kind of sloped. They'll, they'll poke out and try and push you off. Just I do what I do. I, I just kind of jump off them. If you get to here and you jump and the door closes at this part, it doesn't matter. You can land on the edge and you're fine. So, this is the main difference. Now, this whole area is going to be different. And... and kind of thing is you've got these data spikes so as you see here to start with I'm going to activate that console that will give me more teleporters make this a little bit easier so we've picked up this disruptor charge as you can see there are these little kind of diamond shaped little little I don't really know what to call them uh see when I shoot this shield I'll get a I'll, I'll get this disruptor charge and then you'll see this little uh you'll see me land on one here these uh these little plate, these little squares. Every time you you land on a square and you stay on it, look, I don't even know what they are. I don't know what you really call them. These things here, they recharge your disruptor charges timer. It's got a 10 second timer. You land on it. The longer you stay on it, it recharges its timer up to 10 seconds, which is what you get standard when you when you when you stand on it. But it'll also create a plate, and if anything happens to you, if you die. The last one of those that you activated is where the disruptor charge will go back to. Now, you'll see there's an, a big energy shield around the next shield we have to shoot to get the disruptor charge. I am going to be very honest here. I found the way to, t the way to do this. I, unsure if it's to take out the other harpies to get the, the disruptor harpy to, to spawn. So what I ended up doing, see there I took out the elite the the elite uh harpies in this area and i got that disruptor what's it actually called i don't know what it's actually called uh i got that elite harpy to spawn which gave me the disruptor the disruptor charge that i need and as you'll see there on the left because we activated portals at the start for that green kind of console it gave us these these teleporters uh so my advice here is use the teleporters to get to the end and then charge the you see, you see the authentication key expiring and then when I stand on that little square and, 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 and get that plate to appear it recharges the time and make sure you've got enough time on the charge to either get to the end or get to the next spike get to the next square uh, the, these are the same as in the last time those kind of uh, Again, do not know what to call them. But in those red squares, you've got these homing kind of uh, enemies that track you in. And, and, and they put, same as in the Vault of Glass, they detain you. So there's, there are two champions. I take out both of them. I kind of take out all the ads in this, this little area. Because just like the last area, I was just playing around with 
how to get the the shield to come down. Now, if you're on a warlock, have seen it being done. You, if you're on top tree nova, uh, top tree uh, dawn blade, you can actually jump over using rising heat, uh, biting your grenade. You can actually jump over the the, the energy shield and get the and get the shoot the shoot the the shield from inside. Now, as you can see there hasn't appeared because there was still one elite harpy up now we're going to get another wave of ads so i think that's what the key is having had a chance to look back on the run i think the key is kill the two elite harpies two orange bar harpies that are going to be close to where the shield is and that will get the elite one to to appear so I never found uh, where the the teleporter was to go back. So I actually had to run this. So I used exactly what I said before. I charged up. You see, I'm standing on this plate here. I charged up the the disruptor charge. Uh, refreshed the authentication key uh, timer. I, I refreshed it so I had enough time to get through. It's just knowing where they are. So I've got one here on the right. You get 10 seconds on the timer, so I tried, especially when I've got such a distance to travel, I tried to make sure that uh, I had enough time to get to the next one. I took a chance here to get all the way to this one. You see, two, one, but as long as you've got time on on, on your your charge, you'll be fine. Now, you see, I'm, I've got... I, I, void damage resist is really good for this because the amount of harpies. So... Now that we've done that, you see it was 6 minutes 27. Now that we've got, we, we have more than enough. We're going to charge, we're, we'll charge up here. We've got more than enough time. We'll just run to run and put it in. And now we're at the boss. So the way the boss kind of works is, you see, I'm going to tether. I'm going to use my grenade launcher to put the debuff because I've got breach and clear on. And you'll see the rocket does a fair bit of damage. Uh, what's going to happen is you have to be very careful. The boss is going to become kind of immune. These shields are going to come up. And you, what you've got to do is go and get this data. Shoot this shield. Get this data spike. Uh, and take it to the other side. Slam it. And that brings all the all the shields down. But for some reason that, that, that platform was not available to me. Uh, which I found quite strange. But it didn't, it didn't really matter. Uh, and then I'm just going to finish the boss off. This one it was is a lot m m This one's a lot better than, than the last one. Uh, so the idea is, the most important thing is to not overextend yourself when you're going between one of those recharge points. So when you when you put the, when you get on the recharge point, I'll give you 10 seconds. Make sure you give yourself enough time to get to the next one. Charge it up enough to get to the next one. So... That's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested, I'll be putting up a solo 100k on the Master. Double night, four rewards this week. Uh, I'll be putting that up later today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take it easy. And I will see you in the next video.